Hello and welcome to another Guardians of Watcher video. I'm your host Demi and welcome to Cutting Mac Conversions episode 2. And this is a mounted Glorfindel. So, um, a couple of months ago I picked up um, the old metal white council set um, with Glorfindel, Eristor, Galadriel, Radagast, Saruman and Kiran. And then was browsing through eBay about a month ago, no, a couple of weeks ago maybe, and saw a broken Glorfindel. This guy, he did have his helmet on at this point, and his head, um, and saw it for about four or five pounds, and was scrolling down. Thought, oh, that was nice, doing yeah, whatever. Scrolling down and saw a broken, well, they said broken or damaged Eladan, and it was this model, the mounted one. Um, and this is all, all that was missing were the horse's legs as you can see that was simply it so I snapped at that for about a fiver as well and s kept them aside for conversions and then again um, I, as with the high elf storm caller I decided to um, just for a bit of a break from painting a 500 point army just get two conversions done that I wanted to do um, that I had all the pieces for that I didn't have to think too much about and just get on with it so firstly I uh, took the mounted Eladar model I cut his arm because it normally points vertically upright cut his arm off as you can see um, and fiddled about with it and rotated it how I wished and rotated it to this angle which I think is very dynamic very empowering um, and also cut their sword off because they've got notched swords um, I'm not entirely sure where I put the blade um, not a clue I think it may have been bent but their blade have got a little notch on them kind of in here like all um like a lot of high elf, like a lot of elf blades. Um, so I cut that off. So him and so Glorfindel would have the same sword as his foot model because I've, I've obviously got another complete one of these. And repositioned it, and then I got the broken sword from this guy, and pinned it. There's actually a little piece of wire, little half mil piece of wire, in the sword blade um, and in the handle um, and I've got some drill bits that make it extremely easy to do this um, you just got to be a bit careful where you're placing the initial drill so set about and he's got so he's got the same sword his arms repositioned so he looks different to the mounted Eladan um, and then a simple head swap however the drill did slip slightly as you can see on the horse's mane as it went through so I've got to green stuff that a little bit um, and I do have to green stuff um, around Glorfindel's neck um, for the first time ever I'm going to have to sculpt a bit of armour um, and a bit of hair which I'm looking forward to daunting but looking forward to always trying to improve um, and then this morning I set about um, styling the legs of the horse so I I've got lots of broken rides of Rohan in a job lot, like many people have. Um, so I took a horse, this guy, um, and the first thing I thought, I'd, right, I'll get the front leg out of the way because it's quite simple. Simply cut right down the middle, split it in half, a little trimming, like I cut off the um, the reins, like trimmed off the reins and all the. Uh, kind of unnecessary parts and made it fit quite snugly so it's snug on the bottom and put them straight in so I will have to green stuff up some of the gaps bulk out the horse a little, a little bit and then re-sculpt reins which should be interesting um, I've got little ideas on how to do it um, but it's just a case of figuring it out and trying to actually make it work the back half of the horse was slightly more difficult. Um, I can see it's the same again. Cut, cut, ply off, 
pry off half the uh, horse, but there is a little, obviously, metal indentation, like with most character horses, there's a little, it's not a straight swap. Um, so this was a lot of trial and error. Cut it down to how you think. Um, obviously, you don't use the whole of the horse because some of the back end of the metal is already there. So there's a lot of toing and froing, um, trimming bits, making sure it looked right, and trimming a bit more. You think you've cut a lot of the corner bit out, and then you line it up and you try and fit it all in so it lines up perfectly on the back. And by the time you've got back to the corner bit, there's like none of it left. So it was a 10 20, 10, 20 minute kind of trial and error of how the horse's back end would fit. Um, and as with the front, um, I had to, uh, I'm going to have to green stuff quite substantially around here. Um, again, make some, make some reins that go along the back. So a bit of bulking out to do. Um, so this is the conversion so far, and I will show you once all the green stuff is done. So I started with my green stuff um, by rolling out mixing 50-50 uh, green stuff and milliput. They're both a two-part um, kind of plastic um, and use them to join together. I prefer using the mix because um, it enables the green stuff is quite sticky um, and hard to manipulate sometimes so adding the milliput makes it softer and I've read it somewhere that um, you can get a much smoother finish, which I definitely agree with. Um, so first I just filled in the gaps and put a solid bit of green stuff where needed on both the front um, and the rear. Um, and then using uh, sculpting tools um, with Vaseline on so that the tools again don't stick to the green stuff, manipulated it into the corners and into the grooves necessary. Um, following that I cut off the excess using my hobby knife um, and use my scotting tools again to flatten down all the excess stuff and keep trimming away until I had the necessary amount um, and then gradually finally sculpted the uh, muscular parts of the horses. Next I added a small amount of green stuff to the mane where the sword slipped and in using a needle point tool just gradually worked the green stuff into the gaps and sculpted some more hair. Using a similar process to the um, horse's legs, I added milliput and green stuff together to and made a small ball um, and placed it onto the helmet and used some sculpting tools to gradually uh, define it where needed. And any excess overflow that I felt was going past the rim of the helmet, I trimmed off um, and used for the hair on Glorfindel. Using a similar needlepoint tool um, and my sculpting tools itself, I firstly worked the green stuff into the gaps where needed and then simply traced up the hairlines that were pre-existing and added more definition to the hair. Um, I'm reasonably happy with the result. Uh, obviously with more green stuff work I will hopefully my hair and my fur will improve but I think this is a very good start to uh, my projects. Um, I purchased a rolling pin, a model rolling pin off um, eBay for a couple of pounds a while back and it came with two um, rings on each side so you could roll out a certain thickness if you wished. Um, however I felt, and I've used them, that the, the th it's too thick for what I want to do. So using that I roll, I took them off and rolled what I thought was my predetermined thickness um, and then gradually cut what I thought was the correct width of uh, rain and as, as it didn't need to be flowing across so many things I, I felt I could just put it straight on as it's perfectly flat against the horse um, so firstly the front one went on which is the existing rain across the horse's um, chest as such um, and sculpted it back into where it should be um, from where it runs over the front leg and I did the same with the back leg however the back leg I had to um, trace it around under the tail and made sure it fit on a similar side to to the pre-existing pre sculpted metal uh, back left side so I think these came out really well they were nice and quick and simple to do
And so a little bit away from the camera, you can see this patch in here, if it will focus, um, did have a like dagger on it. And what I've done in the brightness um, is I've cut away the dagger and then used my Dremel to take a lo away a lot more material and then used a, uh, a kind of a finer bit to just smooth it down as much as possible because I'm going to green stuff a bit of armour on and I'll show you now it's going to try and green stuff a little bit of that armour that's on the top of his thigh if it focuses there, I'm going to try and green stuff a bit of that plate armour um, so that's going to be the next job, I'm going to do that away from the camera um, as it's my first time sculpting armour and I want to make sure it goes relatively alright and so I'll bring you back in and show you what I've done um, this is what I've sculpted I'm happy with it um, for a first attempt at any kind of armour plating ever happy with how it's come out, it doesn't sit too high, it sits in the right place it looks how it should um, so this is my mounted Glorfindel finished well for the sculpting part anyway um, I filled in a bit of the cloak as well because it was just a little bit no, it was just jagged edges and I might put a little bit more on the inside inside of the thing there but that is my oh, mounted Glorfindel um, and it might appear in a hobby vlog soon oh dear um, not entirely sure but these are just videos to log the conversion parts of it um, so I hope you enjoy this um, if you like these videos, please comment, like, share and subscribe and we'll see you soon.